Good morning, kids. Good morning, children. Now, let's have our mathematics lesson. Giving the place value and the value of a digit in a given decimal number. Are you excited this morning for our lesson? Okay, before that, we will have our review from the previous lesson okay children are you ready to review oh very good okay so this morning we are going to identify the place value of the underlying number we have there 1745 and 2816 first question what is the place value of the underlying number our underlying number there is number five very good once the first digit from the decimal point going to the left is once okay number two what is the place value of the underlying number our underlying number is four correct tens the second digit from the decimal going to the left is the tens okay number three what is the place value of the underlying number our underlying number there is number seven good hundreds our third digit from the decimal point going to the left is hundreds number four what is the place value of the underlying number which is our digit one good thousands okay the fourth digit from the decimal going to the left is thousands very good children no so that is our review of our whole number in terms of place value so from the decimal point the the first digit is ones second digit is tens third digits is hundreds and fourth digits is thousands okay so get ready for our new lesson okay let's continue children to our lesson okay what can you see there in our picture of our slide very good it's obviously the philippine coins now let's identify each one by one of our coins let's start from the largest value who can guess yes very easy we have there 10 pesos very good what's next next large value of our coins yes you got it five pesos next of five pesos okay correct one peso now what's the next of one peso hey eh? anybody guess okay correct yes yes 25 centavos not peso anymore 25 centavos what's the next of 25 centavos yes correct 10 centavos then the smallest value of our coins no other than five centavos you got it thank you thank you now i group our uh coins philippine coins into two columns column a we have there a group of 10 pesos 5 pesos and 1 peso and we have there column b i group it 25 centavos 10 centavos and 5 centavos so we have two columns there a column a and column b first question which column has the peso coins huh? raise your hand uh, use your coin use your uh the sign there sign sign of raising your hand correct yes we have 10 pesos and five pesos and one pesos in column a okay column a correct next question which column has the centavo coins correct good column b okay now another question which column has the whole numbers? Guess. Who can guess? Which column has the whole numbers? Yes. Good. You got it. We have the column A. Column A has our whole numbers, which is the pesos column A. 
10, we have the 10 pesos, 5 pesos, and 1 peso. That is whole numbers. Next question. Which column has the decimal numbers? Yes, yes, correct. Correct, because we have already the column A as the answer of first question. Then, no other than the column B has the decimal numbers, which is the group of 25 centavos, 10 centavos, and 5 centavos. Okay, column B is the correct answer. Now, I want you to be you know, observant. Observe column A and column B. What is the significant difference in terms of number or in terms of digit between column A and column B? Anybody? No? Between the whole numbers and the decimal numbers of column A and column B, what is the significant difference? Yes? Correct! No? The column A has a number from decimal point going to the left going to the left has a number okay going to the left and correct we have also in column b a number from decimal point going to the right okay so that is the the significant difference the whole number has a number from decimal point going to the left and the uh, uh, decimal numbers from decimal point going to the right. Okay, now I have another question to ponder. What are decimal place values and decimal values? No need to answer this one because I am just giving this to stir up our mind as we go along our lessons, giving the place value and the value of a digit. In a given decimal numbers, I want you to think this question and later you will give your answer. Okay? Are you ready to listen to our lesson this morning? Good, good. Okay. Before we talk about place values in the decimal system, let's take a quick recap on what are decimal values and place values. What is place values? From the definition, the value of a digit based on its position or place in a number is known as its place value. Okay, consider the number 5,134 and 6,789 ten thousands. Okay. To, this, to explain this in our mother tongue, the definition says, Ang hidakon, no? ang place value, mao hidakon sa kada numero base sa iyahang gibutangan or sa lugar diin asa ang number. Itawag na siya og place value. Okay, for example, ang 5 diha siya gibutang. So kana iyang lugar diha na ana siya ay place value name. So na ana siya ngalan diha yang place value. So Ang place value mo onay hidak on diri sa iyang lugar nga gibutangan sa numero nga 5. Apotay 1 diha butang diha na 3, 4, 6. So depende sa iyang lugar no. Mo o kanay place value. As bonako hidak on sa iyang numero base asa sa gibutang nga lugar nga maoy iyahang numero. Okay? Now um Later, I will also show you one by one a figure to identify the place value name. Okay. From this given number 5134 and 6789 ten thousands, we will answer this question What are the decimal place values? Okay, to answer this, we will start from the decimal point. The decimal point located between the numbers. Okay, a period between a numbers. If we will see a period between a numbers, okay, that is a decimal point. Now, the number was divided into two. We have a number who is on the left and a number who is on the right. Okay. The numbers 
the, all the numbers on the left are whole numbers. And all the numbers on the right are decimal numbers. Again, all the numbers is on the left are whole numbers and all the numbers is on the right are decimal numbers. Now, let us first review our whole numbers. From the decimal point, let, let's always start from the decimal point. The first position, the first place there, so the place value of the first position is we will call that ones. So, the place value of the first position of our whole number is ones. And we have digit 4 or number 4 because digit or number is the same. Then the second position, the second place. What is the place value? So we will call that one tens. The digit is number 3 or the number is number 3. That is the second position from the decimal point. We will call that one tens. The place value is tens. The third position we have from the decimal point is what we call hundreds. Okay, again, hundreds. We have digit 1 or number 1. That is from the decimal point, third position. Then the fourth position, from the decimal point, we have thousands. And the digits is 5. Okay, so we have there thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. It's, it always starts from the decimal point. That is whole numbers going to the left. Now, let's focus on the numbers going to the right. Okay. The first position there, the first place from the decimal point, we will call that one tenths. We have already additional sounds. TH. Tenths. In the whole number, tenths. But in the decimal, numbers, tenths. Okay, and the digit is number 6, okay, number 6 or digit 6. The first place from the decimal point is tenths. The second place, the second position from the decimal point going to the right. Remember, this is going to the right and all of these are decimal numbers. We will call that one hundreds. Again, hundreds. The difference of a whole number is hundreds. And the decimal number is hundreds. Okay, hundreds. Then we have digit seven. Okay, or number seven. The third position going to the right from the decimal point is thousands. Thousands. Okay, the digit is eight or the number is eight. The fourth position from the decimal point, the fourth position is ten thousands. Again, 10,000. The digit is 9 or the number is 9. So we have already uh, 4 place or 4 positions from the decimal point of our decimal numbers. And all, all of these numbers are going to the right. Whole numbers are going to the left. So again, let's review of our uh, decimal place values. From the decimal point, we have tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Okay, so I want you to take note, no, put it in your minds, look at the patterns because we will have some exercises after this so that you can answer. You need to master the position of our place value. Okay, to further understand our concept of identifying decimal place value and decimal values, let's have this word problem. The science class was given a micrometer to measure the thickness of different leaves. The chart below shows the data recorded. What does 3 in each number mean? Okay, so in our data recorded, we have there three kinds of leaves. Okra leaf, guava leaf, and talisay leaf. And they have different thickness. For okra leaf, we have 3,157, 10,000 centimeter. 
For guava leaf, we have there 329 ten thousandths centimeter. And we have there talisa leaf, 2139 ten centimeter. But our question, that is very thin. No? What instrument did they use to get this thickness? According to our word problem, micrometer. Did you know what is micrometer? Yes, we do not know. We don't have even in our school. But I have here a video clip to allow us to make us understand and to see you know, broader uh, picture what is this micrometer. So let's watch this video. Outside micrometer. A visual representation of outside micrometer is shown in this video. The parts of micrometer listed here. Null finger grip, thimble, thread, spindle, anvil, frame, sleeve or barrel and adjusting nut. What is micrometer? A micrometer is a precision instrument used to measure a job, generally with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.01 mm. We will see the application of outside micrometer in the next video. Application of outside micrometer Let us see the application of outside micrometer. Here we take micrometer. The main parts of micrometer are as follows frame, sleeve or barrel, thimble and knurled finger grip. Now we are going to see how to measure the component. Here we take a component, place the component between the anvil and spindle. Spin the ratchet until the spindle meets the object. Verify both the anvil and spindle is touching the object evenly. Set the thimble lock while the micrometer is still on the object. Lock position. Note the reading of micrometer. Now we see the calculation of total reading. Total reading is equal to main scale reading plus least count into thimble reading. Main scale reading is equal to 17.5. Least count is equal to 0.01. Thimble reading is equal to 15. Least count into thimble reading is equal to 0.15. Total reading is equal to 17.65. We get the correct size of component by using micrometer. Okay, so that is micrometer. At least if in our school, we don't have that kind of instrument, but in our video clip, we can have a broader idea what is micrometer and how the micrometer works. Okay, but let's go back to our word problem. Okay, the question of our word problem is what does number three in its number in its thickness of our leaf mean? Okay. Now, to answer that question, we need to use the place value chart of decimal numbers. So, if we have this place value chart, you are going to chart all the number given the, the thickness of each leaf. So, we have there the okra leaf, 3,157, 10,000 cm. For guava, guava leaf, 329, 10,000 cm. For talisay leaf, 2,138, 10,000 cm. Now, what is that digit 3 mean in its number? 
so we have we start from okra leaf here we have the number three the number three belongs to the place value of tens okay so that is a technique that we can easily identify what is the place value okay in guava leaf the number three is here so the number three in guava leaf belongs to hundreds so very easy to identify the place value if we have this place value chart then for the talisai leaf we have here the number three belongs to thousands thousands place value in decimal place value chart okay what does this mean it means that if we are going if we are asked what is the place value of the number three or digit three of okra leaf thickness we will say tenths and if we are going to ask if we are asked what is the decimal value of this number three so since that is belongs to the place value of tens we will just read the number three tenths okay we will just say three tenths of if we are going to write that one we will write the number three and the rest of the numbers at the back of the three we will just cancel or make it zero even the rest of other numbers we will change it into zero only the number that we will identify okay then i give you the answer okay so for example that one so our answer there is uh, the value is 0 0.3 or 3 tenths the guava leaf we have three hundreds okay 0 0.03 or three hundreds for the talisa leaf we have three thousands that is what the number three means three thousands or 0 0.003 then no more writing the other number change it into zero all the numbers at the back we will also better not to write anymore or you just put it zero also okay now what is the rule in giving the place value and the value of a digit of a given decimal number okay i give you the rule number one the place value to the left is 10 times of that to the right okay the place value to the left is 10 times of that to the to the right if we will also use this no uh, in a whole number that is still the same from one once we will move it to the second uh, place it becomes 10 so it multiplies 10 times okay the decimal point rule number two the decimal point dictates where the whole number parts ends and where the decimal parts begins so the decimal point is at the center so if we will saw or see the decimal point the whole number ends with that after the decimal point no more the whole number that is the beginning of the decimal numbers okay so that is the rule number two rule number three the place value to the right is one tenth of that to the left this is for the decimal numbers number one is for the whole number number three is for the decimal number so our number no the place value the value of the digit or the number to the right is one tenth one tenth of that to the left or you divide it by ten one tenth or divide it by ten okay i give you more uh, illustration to master this concept okay write the place value and the value of the underlined digit we have there five and four thousand seven hundred twenty two ten thousands what digit that we have underlined so four number two twenty five and seven hundred eighty five thousands okay thousands it did not reach into four place of so thousands 
our underlying digit there or number is 8, 8. Number 3, 0 is our whole number. So, 4,687. 10 thousands because this is four digits. 10 thousands. Our underlying number there or underlying digit there is 8. Okay, take note of that. Number 4, we have 52 and so, if you are going to read the decimal, you change that as and. 52, the whole number and the decimal number. That is the concept. So, 52 and 9,341. 10 thousands. What is our underlying digit there or number? We have there number 1. So, what is our first technique no? to, to master our uh, in identifying the decimal place value and identifying the decimal value we will use the decimal place value chart okay so we will put that we have also there so take note our underlying digit in number one we have there four okay four okay four belongs to tenths place value so, if we are going to ask, what is the place value no, of the underlying digit, which is digit number 4 or number oh, digit 4, the answer is tenths. Uh, so, we are going to show that answer later. Now, if we are also asked here, value of the underlying digit, what is the value of 4? So, make all the numbers here into 0. So, this is 0 0.4 or 4 tenths you write here four tenths or you change this zero point four or four tenths then the rest are zero or no more do not write the number at the back after the last you no know, identified number in number two our underlying number there or digit is eight here so what is the place value of eight? obviously hundreds the answer is hundreds but if we are asked what is the value of eight then we will answer eight hundreds what is the answer eight hundreds or if we are going to write that one change this uh, no more this number two change this zero point zero eight no more writing five we will just uh, see that later then number three what is our place value of underlying digit what is the, our digit there underlying digit number eight again so here so what is the place value thousands thousands okay so what is the value of this number eight we have here eight thousands eight thousand if you are going to write that one change the rest of the number into zero only remain the number eight so zero 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 eight zero or no more write the zero at the back of eight okay last number four uh, what is our underlying number one okay so one belongs what is the place value of one obviously ten thousands okay ten thousands because that is fourth place one two three four ten thousands so we are we need to master this pattern Okay, and what is the value of this one? One ten thousands. Okay, one ten thousands. If you are going to write this one, okay, change all the numbers into zero. In whole number, only write one zero. Zero point zero 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 one. One ten thousands. Okay, I will show you the answer. Okay, that is the answer. Number one, we have tens. What is the place value? Tens, correct. Then, how are you going to write? 0 0.4. Okay, no more writing the other number at the back. Okay. Number 2, what is the place value of 8? Hundreds. Correct. The answer is hundreds. And how are we going to write the value? 8 hundreds or 0 0.08. In the whole number, we have two numbers here, but only write one zero. And do not write other number at the back of 8. So, 0 0.08 or 8 hundreds, two places. Okay. Number three, our place value of 8 again is thousands. Correct. Thousands. And how are we going to write the value 
of these eight thousands, eight thousands or zero point zero eight. Three places, three places. Eight thousands. No more writing the rest of other numbers. Okay? Then the number four is what is the place value of one? Ten thousands. Ten thousands, correct. And how are we going to write that value? The value of one ten thousands. You change all the number into zero. Four places. One, two, three, four. Ten thousands. Because the ten thousands is in the four, four places. No. Okay. We have here decimal point. One, two, three, four. Okay. Fourth place. In the fourth place. Okay. So, that is our lesson. Then we need to master. Because we are going to have more exercises. To... Further learn no? to get our mastery of the concept in identifying the decimal place value and the decimal values. Okay, I have here another exercises. Give the place value and the value of the digit 8 or the number 8. This time, we answer mentally without using decimal place value chart. Okay, so number one, I remember digit eight. We have there four and eight hundreds. Okay, what is our place value? You, you need to have two answers and also the value of the digit eight. So we choose between A and B. A is tenths and 0 0.8 or eight tenths. B, hundreds, and eight hundreds. What is your answer? Yes. Okay. The correct answer is letter B. Very good. Letter B. No, hundreds, hundreds, and eight hundreds. Number two. We have there 0 0.008. If we read that one, uh, that is eight thousands okay so what is our place value of eight eight thousands and the value is eight thousands b hundreds and eight hundreds what is your answer yes very good letter a okay letter a correct number three let's have the 0 0.3208 okay what is our Place value of digit 8 and the value of digit 8. A, thousands and eight thousands. B, ten thousands and eight ten thousands. The answer is what? Anybody? Okay, you are just thinking. Any? Okay, yes. What is your answer? Letter B, correct. Ten thousands and eight Ten thousands. Last number, number four. This is uh, uh, mental uh, estimate, no mental computation. So you need to answer quickly. We have two point eight seven five. So what is our value, place value of eight digit or and the value of eight digits? Yes. Letter A. Very good. Very quick. To say, correct. The answer is letter A. Tenths and eight tenths. Wow. Now, let's have the application of our concept, of our lesson. I have here another word problem for, uh, for our application. It says, Rune spent 138, and uh, 138 pesos and 50 Centavos in grocery items at Kang's Incorporated. After buying some groceries, he went to the pharmacy. He bought a box of face mask that cost 63 pesos and 25 centavos. In which of the two prices does 5 or digit 5 have a greater value? Okay, but before that, I have here some three questions. Why did Rune buy a face mask? Anybody? 
Yes. What is your answer? Correct. No? Because we have, we face now a COVID-19, a virus. Okay? Then, another question. What does the face mask do in relation to COVID-19? Anybody? Yes, just click the raise hands of your clan. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, what is your answer? Okay, to protect us from being infected of the virus. Okay, infected from COVID-19. Okay, next question. Do we practice the following behaviors from DOH campaign to fight against COVID-19? Are you familiar with the campaign of our Department of Health? Okay, sige. I know that you watch that you, you, in the Facebook or YouTube or even our television. But I want you to, uh, I, I want to show it to you again in our class. Okay, just watch and listen. Patuloy pa rin ang laban natin sa COVID-19. And together, we can beat the solution. B. Bawal walang mask. I. Sanitize sa mga kamay. Iwas hawak sa mga bagay. C. Kumistansya ng isang metro. A. Alamin ang totoong informasyon tungkol sa COVID-19. Protektahan natin ang sarili at mga mahal sa buhay. B. I. D. A. Be the solution sa COVID-19. Okay, so we have that be the solution. But let us practice always these four letters. Be the, B I D A. B, bawal walang mas. I, I sanitize mga kamay. Wash your hands. I was hawak sa mga bagay. D, dumistansya na isang metro. A, alamin ang totoong information. Okay, so that is only for our uh, values integration. Especially we are suffering now, we are facing this challenge of COVID-19. But let's go back to our um, word problem. Okay, so the question there is, in which of the two prices does 5 have a greater value? So let us use you know, the chart you know, again to have a solution, organize the two prices in the table and underline the digit being asked in the problem that is how are we going to to solve the problem then write the place value and value of the underlined digit okay that one okay so our groceries we have 138 pesos and 50 centavos our face mask one box of face mask is 63 pesos and 25 centavos the question we have their number five digit five and digit five which of these five has a greater value okay so first we are going to write the place value in our groceries the five there 50 centavos what is the place value tenths because right after the decimal no, our position there or place is the tenths place value. What is the value of this five? Five tenths or zero point five. Okay. Then the next the one box a box of face mask we have there five sixty three pesos and twenty five centavos. What is the place value of five? Hundreds. So the five there is belongs to the second place from the decimal point going to the right what is the value point zero five so what is our answer which of these five value has a greater value the answer is therefore the digit five in 138 pesos and 50 centavos has what is your answer greater or lesser correct greater than greater than 63 pesos and 25 centavos because we have only 5 centavos this one is 50 centavos okay so that is all for our word application now let's move on to generalize not to cons to to summarize all our concepts in studying the place value and the value of a digit in a given decimal number first question there 
how do we write the place value and the value of a digit of a given decimal number through 10,000? Anybody? Anybody who can remember? How are we going to write the place value? Okay. If you can master, yes, yes, if you can master. Okay. So you remember, yes, you remember the, the places. The first place from the decimal of decimal numbers is tens okay next of tens is hundreds next of hundreds is thousands next of thousands ten thousands okay you memorize that one so you write all the place value how about the value okay so you have already identified digit or number followed by the place value okay correct no you write the number or identified number or the number that was asked then followed by the place value if you are going to write it in number, then make all the other numbers a zero. Then remain the number or identified number in the place. Then do not write anymore the number at the back right after the identified number. Okay, yes. But how about this one? Uh, what are the rules in giving the place value and the value of a digit of a given decimal number? through ten thousands how many rules do we have did, did i show you did, did i show you okay three rules first for the whole numbers no okay the the number going to the left the next number going to the left for the whole number is ten times to that number okay second rules second rule is the decimal point is what our determining factor because in the decimal number the whole number ends in the decimal number and it begins with the uh, no, the, the, the whole number ends with the decimal number and it begins with the decimal number points points what i mean i repeat the the whole number ends with the decimal point and the decimal numbers start from the decimal point okay number three rules number three rules if we are going to the right the the number going to the right next place of going to the right is one tenth one tenth no? times one tenth going to the right that is the value while the whole number is times ten and the decimal numbers going to the right is one tenth of that number okay so here's your um what you call this assessment no? if we really understand just take a screenshot no screenshot from your laptop pc or from your cell phone screenshot of this you are going to answer that individually and you are going to pass that in our google drive okay done i'll give you a few minutes Okay, we have there, solve, write the place value and the value of the underlying digit 1 to 4. The next is give the place value and the value of the digit 3. Okay, so you just circle, now circle the correct answer, the letter of the correct answer. Okay, done with your screenshot. Here's our Google Drive link. Screenshot that again. Then pass your answer to this Google Drive. Okay, that's all for today. That is our the ends of our lesson, giving the place value and the value of a digit in a given decimal number. Okay, bye-bye and see you next time.